Story Time Fairy Tales, Stories, and Legends A project created by volunteers at Dante Alighieri Society of Michigan Listen and enjoy Italian Folk Tales Selected and Retold by Italo Calvino Volume 2 Fiaba 122, The Chicken Laundress. There once was a washerwoman who had no children. One day, while she was hanging out clothes, she saw a mother hen with seven chicks running along behind her. Holy mother, she said, even if you helped me have a hen for a daughter, I would be happy. Thus, she actually gave birth to a chicken. The washerwoman was happy and loved her, and before long, this daughter became a big hen, the likes of which had never been seen. One day the hen went about the house saying, coo, 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 give me the clothes and I'll go and wash them. And she sang that song the whole day long. The washerwoman at first turned a deaf ear to her, then lost patience and threw her an old rag. The hen took it in her beak and began flapping her wings, continuing to flutter until she reached a deserted terrain. There she put the cloth down on the ground, and in its place rose a palace. The hen climbed the palace steps, walked through the front door, and in that moment, turned into a beautiful young lady. From the palace came numerous fairies who dressed her like a queen and prepared a fine feast for her. After eating, she went out on her balcony for a while. The king's son, who was hunting in the vicinity, saw her and fell in love with her. He hid nearby and waited for her to come out. He finally saw her emerge and turn into a hen. The hen gave the palace one peck. The palace turned back into a rag and holding that rag in her beak, the hen flew off. The king's son ran after her. How much will you take for this hen? He asked the washerwoman. I wouldn't sell her for all the gold in the world, said the poor woman. But the king's son went on so that the washerwoman was unable to say no and therefore parted with her hen daughter. The king's son carried her to his palace and made her a nest in a basket beside his bed. In the evening, he went off to dance. The hen waited until he was gone, then shook her feathers and turned back into a young lady and ran off to the ball herself. When she entered the ballroom, the king's son recognized her and hurried away at once. He ran home, looked into the basket, and seeing the chicken feathers, threw them into the fire. Then he returned to the ball and danced with the young lady, pretending he had not recognized her. He went home late, but the hen wasn't there. So the king's son went to bed and pretended to go to sleep. Then, in stole the young lady on tiptoe and, thinking no one saw her, went to don her chicken feathers again. She approached the basket, but the feathers were gone. Terrified, she was glancing about when the king's son rose and took her in his arms, saying, You will be my bride. Reading by Cherise Manganiello.